This is the Indie Book Show and we're here at the Lewisham Black and Multicultural Forum. So let's go and chat to some of the speakers. Emmanuel Olanian, who's just done a speech about his term as young mayor for Lewisham. You are the 10th young mayor and you finished a week ago. What were your responsibilities as young mayor? Well, um, I was actually given a budget of £30,000 to spend on the young people and then also the role involves looking after the young people, um, in my opinion, building up a relationship with them and eliminating the barrier that young people think that the young mayor thinks they're better than them, which isn't true. So, yeah, it was just that. I'm just representing the young people and making sure their voices are heard in my opinion. What do you think is more important, like spending the money wisely or engaging with the people? I think they're both as equal as each other but engagement is more important so the young people know what you're doing and so you actually know what the young people want the money to be spent on. Mm. And why did you want to run? Oh, I wanted to run because I believe that young people are stereotyped too much, like it's really annoying, like I wanted to also motivate the young people to not have to want to live up to their stereotype and to break that barrier and to do something positive or something good. Yeah, so what were some of the things you did with the money or just what did you do to engage with young people in the ocean? Alright, um, basically we did quite a few things. We actually had um, an after exam like cool down event. Um, we also had a talent showcase in which Ashley Waters from, um, you might know, have heard of him, actor, yeah, um, he was there as well, and he was just motivating the young people and making, just giving them a little talk so that know that you don't have to live a certain way. Um, we also had um, football tournaments in Catford Pits, which led to people getting scouted for pro clubs as well, cool. which is really good. So it's just like this phrase that like I have called out of the hood and getting into the industry. Yeah. So it's just we tried to do that as much as we could, and we just tried to run as many events. We also had a game show, a comedy game show, oh, oh. which I got humiliated in, <laughs> but it was fun and it was for the young people, and the young people enjoyed it. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. So, yeah. Speaking of you being humiliated and comedy, you also have a YouTube channel, Correct. which does help engage with young people. Um, in what way do you use that, like? As mayor, do you connect the two, or do they just completely separate entities, and they just kind of? Well, I could try to connect them. Yeah. Um, but I had a, a point in time I did the young mayor's vlog, which I'd update people what was going on in the how they could get involved, etc. Um, yeah, and I used it as a point of promotion of Lushimara because my audience stretches from outside Lushim now as well. So yeah. I was just try to. It's global. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, and as young mayor. You obviously had certain responsibilities, but what did you want to achieve for the people in the area? Like, other than sort of putting on events and spending the money, what was the main aim? I know you only get a year, but... Mm. Um, I would say the main aim was just to represent and just to make sure that like, the young people had someone they could talk to, someone who had a bit of, well, I wouldn't say influence, but works within the council, yeah. and that they could speak to. A voice that can be heard. Yeah, because I'm basically the same age as them, probably going through some of the stuff they're going yeah. through, you know, I just want them to be able to relate with me, I can relate with them, just tell me what they would be looking for in this bar or what can make this bar better. Yeah, and then as you only had a year, um, was there anything that you kind of wanted the adults that are in office that will be there longer than you and perhaps have a bit more influence, like mm -hmm. was there something you wanted them to kind of hold on to and get an idea of in terms of helping young people in Lewisham? Yeah, um, I, I don't, I'd say adults need to eliminate the stereotype that all young people are negative because <laughs> if they don't do that, we're not able to progress and work as one. It's one of the reasons why a lot of young people feel that the adults are against them and they don't like working with them. So yeah. it would be good if the adults maybe eased up on a bit of the stereotypes, you know, and didn't like listen to what all the media says because I often hear negative stuff against young people in the media, read by old people. Yeah. So you just hear young people like, oh, okay, so this person in the media is saying this, we're in the newspaper saying this, people bringing up the riots, all the negativities, yeah. but there's never a positivity that is brought up. Well, people latch onto the negativities as well. Definitely. They don't, something positive happens and you don't hear about it. Mm -hmm. Something bad happens and you do. It's a really big shame, it's a really yeah. big shame. Um, to what extent do you think that message that you tried to get across has actually kind of infiltrated into Lewisham Council? Well, I can't speak for Lewisham Council no. because I'm not like deeply with that involved, but I can speak on the young people's behalf. A lot of them um, thanked me 
were actually like working hard with the dev team there, Titania. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them have asked me to run again, so I will be running again. You will? In what year? Um, 2015, so I will be running again. And this is your last chance yeah, this is to my run last, as mayor? Yeah, this is my last chance before I hopefully go to university as well. Wow, so. okay. So your campaign starts over this next year. Are you going to use your YouTube channel and yeah, just keep in touch definitely. with people? Yeah, um, definitely. Because in my first term, I had quite a lot of YouTube friends that were helping me yeah. um, campaign. Um, I had friends like KSI um, and some other people as well that are within the community, yeah. like people that are artists and such. So they helped me and supported me as well. So I used that. And a lot of the young people saw that and they thought, whoa, so if KSI is supporting or if this YouTuber or this artist is supporting, why shouldn't I? And then it's just good that they saw that I wasn't just trying to find the best solution. I was trying to get expand and make sure all young people everywhere yeah. had a voice. So good luck in your campaign. We're going to leave it there. And everybody vote for Amanda.